CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. San Jose police have seized the motorcycle they say was captured on video traveling close to 300 kilometers an hour. But investigators cannot charge the rider of the bike who was weaving in and out of traffic at that reckless speed. They cannot prove who was riding, but they have charged the registered owner of the motorcycle, and they have locked it up to keep it, and they hope, the rider off the streets. CTV Stephen Andrew reports. The motorcycle recklessly weaving in and out of traffic on Vancouver Island's Trans-Canada Highway at speeds just shy of 300 kilometers an hour has been stopped dead in its tracks. We're looking at this being forfeited to the Crown, which means it'll never be returned. The high-performance Yamaha worth up to $17,000 is now in the hands of Saanich Police, the centerpiece of a dangerous driving investigation. And this is where police seized the motorcycle last Friday evening in the 800 block of Admiral's Road in Esquimalt. After conducting a forensic investigation comparing the bike in the YouTube video to the one seized here. Here. And here, they moved to a third, here, here, a fourth, and then a fifth, and then a sixth. I stopped at five. Put it all together, most significantly the accidental characteristics. This bike, this bike, are the same bike. The bikes may match, but Sanish police cannot prove the identity of the rider. They believe it is a 25-year-old man living in a Esquimal. This young man has a total of 27 driving infractions on his driving history has a total of five different license suspensions. He has actually spoken to our investigator and yesterday was to come in and meet with our officer and uh, discuss this particular incident. He failed to show up. Unable to link their suspect to the bike, police are charging the registered owner of the bike, the suspect's mother. The registered owner has been served with a violation ticket charged with driving without due care and attention, a $368 penalty, excessive speeding with a $483 penalty, and no insurance with a $598 penalty for a total of $1,449 worth of penalties. Witnesses who have seen the video say the wild ride happened on Friday, April the 6th at around 4 in the afternoon. Traffic safety advocates and lawmakers are furious the suspect is getting a free ride. Short of incarcerating the individual, which, uh, you know, our laws don't uh, really um, uh, let us do too lightly, uh, how do you keep somebody like that off the road? Well, maybe we get a chance to find out. People still make the choice to do things that are illegal and irresponsible, and this is both of them. So uh, I've asked, uh, a number of months ago, I asked our ministry through the uh, superintendent of motor vehicles to begin to look at what other things we can do to try to actually bring meaning to those kinds of prohibitions. Police are still hopeful someone will come forward with information to solve the mystery. On Tuesday, a man who identified himself as Randy Scott told CTV News via Facebook, cops seized the bike on Friday, I don't have a bike license, and the bike in question has never been insured. Wasn't me. Sources tell CTV News Scott is believed to be the rider. But Saanich police will not confirm if Randy Scott is their suspect. Scott has not been charged in the speeding incident captured on video. Until criminal charges are laid, the only person being held responsible for dangerous driving, the owner of the motorcycle. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Saanich.